I'm walking in the Armenian district of Tehran and there are lots of Christmas shops in this area. Christmas is in the air in Tehran. Salam everyone. Merry Christmas. Christmas isn't something that many people generally expect to see in Iran. But contrary to that general idea, many people in Iran actually celebrate Christmas. Christmas is still very religious in Iran. And this is different from places like Japan, where Christmas was originally imported commercially. This means that we need to talk about religion when we talk about Christmas in Iran. Now, unlike other more developed countries where atheism or agnosticism have become more mainstream and where religion is something that people have the freedom to choose, in Iran, religion is still very cultural. Basically, this means that you are born into different religions depending on your ethnicity. You may already know that Iran is a multicultural, multilinguistic country where lots of different ethnicities exist. For example, the Persians, who are the largest ethnicity in the country, only make up about 45% of the population, not even half. This goes to show how diverse the country is. If you're an Iranian who is ethnically Armenian or Assyrian, it means that you're automatically Christian. Now, my father wasn't Armenian nor Assyrian, but a Persian, which means that he was Muslim. But he was from a city called Hamedan, which, by the way, used to be the old capital of Iran, known as Ekbatana. Hamedan is known for its sizable community of Assyrians, as well as Jews, actually. Also, when I was growing up in Tehran, one of my good friends was from an Assyrian family. And also, my best friend, Farshid, his house was located in an Armenian district of Tehran. So I basically grew up surrounded by people who celebrated Christmas in Tehran. And obviously, my mother, who is Japanese, is used to celebrating Christmas, if you take back the subject to religion in Iran. I'm actually agnostic, which means that I don't really believe in a specific religion. But Christmas is fun, so there you go. Another Christmas shop behind me in Tehran. Usually when people think of Iran, they, would think, they think that it's a very Islamic country, but it's actually a very diverse country. And you can see lots of Christian people live here, and you can see lots of people are celebrating Christmas. Salam everyone, Merry Christmas. I'm actually filming this commentary section in Japan. Little did I know two weeks ago when I was filming that footage in Iran of two Santas on the street that I was going to be Santa myself in Japan for a job. Anyway, 
Let's go back to the topic. I said that Christmas is still a very religious thing in Iran. This means that it's only celebrated by the Christian people of Iran. And it's got nothing to do with the rest of the population. Therefore, the kind of scenery that you just saw, that's not so common in Iran. You can only see that in certain areas where the inhabitants are mostly Christian. I just wanted to say this to avoid the impression that everyone in Iran was Christian. The majority of the population are Muslim and they have nothing to do with Christmas. It's just a very diverse country with different peoples celebrating different things. And everyone respects each other. My job today is to give out some gifts as Santa to children who come to this department store which reminded me of some children that I saw in Iran. They were street children. Just a few hundred meters up the street where I filmed the Christmas shops, we saw these children cleaning car windows. One of them was a girl dressed as a boy, and one of them was no older than five or six, and the rest were around nine, 10, 11 years old. These children are organized by adults into small gangs and they work all day on the streets cleaning car windows and in the metro selling goods and they steal things as well which is why I had to hide my camera and film them only with my mobile phone because I wasn't sure how they would react to my camera. The government of Iran provides them with shelters and orphanages but oftentimes these children run away to the adults in most cases their own parents who will abuse them and make them work on the streets. And oftentimes these children are drugged as well. So, the world of Oliver Twist, written by Charles Dickens, is still very much alive in Iran. The contrast between them cleaning car windows and the toy shop behind them was very ironic and sad. So my friend Farshid and I, we tried to buy some sweets for them and we gave out some coins. And we spent some time with them, dancing and joking around, trying to make them happy. After all, regardless of religion, the spirit of Christmas is to give, to give joy especially. And it was not much, but I really hope we could make them happy for a short time. And the little boy was crying when we tried to leave and his older brother had to hold him, which was very sad. So, although I'm not Christian, and these children, from the language they spoke to each other and from their Persian accent, we could tell that they were Lori children. Lori people come from the Loristan province of Iran and they have their own language and culture. So these children were from that ethnicity and they're not Christian. But regardless of their religion and my religion, to be true to the spirit of Christmas, I would like to dedicate this video 
to the street children of Iran, especially those that we met on that night. Bachoho, Merry Christmas, Shabe Yaldo Mubarak. Let's <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.